السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اوکے قاسم دی ریڈ ووپ اسٹار وچ آئی گیس ان ایٹ لیسٹ دی ہوپی پروفیسز آئی بلیو از دا ریڈ ووپ اسٹار دی ریڈ کچینا اینڈ دین یو گٹ دی نیوٹرون اسٹار وچ آئی گیس ووڈ فٹ دا ڈسکرپشن آف دا بلو کچینا اینڈ لائک ویو سیڈ دی ریڈ ووپ اسٹار از ایکچولی بہائنڈ از واز دا پروٹون اسٹار Uh, is sharing a battery center with our sun, which seems to be the primary star of the system. There's other celestial bodies that have come in with both of these stars, these stellar objects, into our solar system. But uh, the, I guess, primary, the three primary stars of this trinary system is our sun, the uh, proton star, uh, and the red dwarf star. Uh, in Hopi, um, prophecies i guess this is called the red kachina and the proton star is called the blue kachina it's something we've outlined in the science pdf at least we've discussed the hopi prophecies in that very briefly um uh, and that was there for you guys to explore further since but um yep that pretty much seems to sum up what's come into our solar system and merged with our solar system Uh, there certainly are the brown dwarf stars, but they're not as visible simply because they're literally down to their core. In other words, they've come to uh, uh, an end to the lifespan that they have in terms of the fusion that occurs and the atmosphere that they may perhaps have. Although the neutron star, which is the primary star of our trinary system, um, uh, certainly is uh, one to be worried about. And I believe this is the star... Al-Najm al-Thaqib mentioned in the Qur'an and that we've discussed and um, uh, at length uh, uh, throughout many, many of the vlogs that we've archived since. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, but as I understand it, as this system and this star actually goes down below the elliptic from where they came from, uh, we are going to uh, experience huge seismic events uh, and, and climatic events, I guess, and there's no reason... Uh, to not think that we aren't going to experience a pole shift when that happens as well. Anyway, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. But this is interesting, I guess. Um, Right, these guys were absolutely incredible and they were the ones who actually inspired me, subhanAllah, back in 2006-2007 to study this system. Uh, they were the forerunners of anticipating the arrival of this system. Uh, they were a group of amateur astronomers, the first ones who had drawn my attention to the system. And um, I'd been following it since and researching it since. And this is all the way back to 2006-2007. It's, um, what can I say? I mean, <clears throat> I, look, I owe a lot <clears throat> of what I've come to learn and understand about this system from these guys. Uh, they've disappeared. Um, I, I hope they're okay. Um, uh, they were certainly very genuine enough, and uh, they were drawing, trying to draw the attention of the Ummah of humanity to its onset and arrival, and that the powers that shouldn't be were trying to hide it. I have no idea what's happened to them. They've just disappeared off the radar. Since then, many others like myself have surfaced and have been studying and researching the incoming passage of this system and then 
its having actually arrived and merged with it and being maybe a pre-gift of its sins. Anyway, Jazakallah khairu wa sunu jazakallah khairu wa sunu wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.